competition, camaraderie, and a big measure of fun. There are plenty of reasons to come to the line at CMP's Marksmanship Park, but the GSMM match offers one additional benefit you don't find at other shooting matches. History preserved and remembered. The firing line at Talladega is a lineup of history's guns. History remembered and sponsored by the Civilian Marksmanship Program. This showcase of 20th century firepower unfolds on a range that honors a legend, John C. Garand, creator of the U.S. rifle caliber 30 M1, Garand. 65 of the revered rifles are on this firing line, most of any vintage firearm. Like a lot of soldiers, Lieutenant Colonel Jerry Lewis really admires the M1. It's the only old service rifle he ever fires. That's one of my favorite rifles. Uh, that's my CMP M1 Garand Special that I got here from the Civilian Marksmanship Program. It's an awesome rifle. It's my favorite thing to shoot. The Colonel's M1 is a Springfield built in 1943. He loves to shoot his World War II vet because of the way it feels. Partly, it's the wood in his hands partly the weight of its service. Just a lot of the history plus the power. You know, you, you, you start handling those 30-06 rounds and then you go shoot an AR and they just seem really puny. So you, when you have this, you just feel, you feel like invincible. There's another old war horse just down the line, the 1903 Springfield. Andy Lundberg's rifle is also a veteran, but not of World War II. The 1903 Springfield Mark I, it was used in World War I. It's got the old sights and whatnot on it. It's got a new barrel on it. Once we did that, it is a laser to shoot. That's the 03's reputation, among the most accurate bolt guns ever. Of course, there are O3 variants, too. And Tony Lacey is on the trigger of one, a rifle built in 43 that saw action with the Marines. That is a, a 1903 A3 uh, from World War II uh, era. Uh, bought it here at the CMP. It's a good shooting gun. It's, it's made by Remus. Here's one more U.S. service rifle of the early 20th century. Matthew Whitley shoots a model 1917, basically a British Enfield retooled in 30 6 It's from World War I and the fourth rifle Matthew's shooting. It takes a lot of getting used to. Every action's different, every side alignment's different, so uh, it's the challenge of moving from one different type of rifle to another, you know. These are bolt guns, bolt action guns, so this is probably the most difficult one to shoot. Back to Andy to take a look at one more historic Enfield, a Long Branch number 4 Mark I, chambered in 303. Long Branch was the Canadian version of the uh, British Enfield. I was looking for a Long Branch. I had a few of the uh, uh, Enfield number four more, uh, Mark ones, but I did not have the Long Branch variant, so I decided I needed one. You'll find a carbine in this match from a nation that stays out of wars. Jeff Silvern's gun is from Switzerland. So this is uh, the K1911 Swiss carbine made in the early 20th century, shooting the seven and a half by 55 caliber using the Schmidt Rubin straight pull action where there's no turning of the bolt. Making the action simple to run and the K1911 a joy to shoot. Strong recoil is it just like any other 30 caliber range uh, rifle, but works like a dream. The, the bolt just cycles beautifully clean. Henry Givens also competes with a rifle from across the pond, a Swedish model 1892 that was built in 1908. This is a Carl Gustav Swedish Alder. It's an excellent rifle, 6.5 by 55. This gun's about 110 years old. 
It shoots better than any of my other guns. Henry knows a soldier armed with the Mauser was well equipped for war. Oh, I would have used it in a heartbeat. I would have used this in a heartbeat. If I was in that day, I would have used this. No problem at all. The GSMM and vintage rifles, a match made in history. The GSVM matches are some of my favorites because I get to play with some old rifles. They're low pressure, uh, high fun, but it's just fun to Sorry, exercise these old girls. The old girls from a century ago, still seeing action, being exercised in competition, and valued by the collectors who remember their history.